if equipped. The engine stop start function can help save fuel and reduce emissions. Now, this is an automatic system, but you can turn it off manually if you'd like. You'll find the stop start switch in the switch bank. Push that switch to turn the system off. An indicator light lets you know the system is off. Push the switch to turn the system back on, and the indicator light will go out. Keep in mind, the system automatically reactivates every time you restart the engine. The engine will shut down any time you come to a complete stop, so long as all the system requirements have been met. Now, the vehicle must be completely stopped, the shifter must be in a forward gear, and the brake pedal depressed. The system will then stop the engine automatically during a vehicle stop if those required conditions have been met. Now, this may take some getting used to because the engine will shut down, the tachometer will fall to the zero position, and the heater air conditioning airflow may be reduced. Releasing the brake pedal or engaging the throttle pedal will automatically restart the vehicle. When the vehicle is stopped, a green icon on the instrument cluster will let you know that the stop-start feature is active. Using the controls on the left-hand side of the steering wheel, you can scroll to the stop-start page in your instrument cluster main menu and check on the condition of the system. If the vehicle is traveling above 5 miles per hour or 8 kilometers per hour, you'll see a stop-start ready message if all conditions are met. When stopped and the icon is green, you'll see stop-start auto stop active. This is a very smart system, and prior to engine shutdown, it will check many safety and comfort conditions. So if the green icon does not appear when the vehicle comes to a stop, go to the Stop Start page in your instrument cluster, and the system will display the Stop Start Not Ready condition that is preventing auto stop from activating. Here are some examples of conditions where the engine will not stop. If the driver's seatbelt is not buckled, or the driver's door is not closed, the engine will not stop. If cabin heating or cooling is in progress and an acceptable cabin temperature has not been reached yet, the engine will not stop. Or if the transmission is not in a forward gear or the hood is open. Stop start will not activate if the battery temperature is too warm or cold or the battery charge is low. If the vehicle is on a steep grade, the temperature control is set to full defrost mode at a higher blower speed or it's set to max AC. If the engine has not reached normal operating temperature, if the vehicle is in four low transfer case mode, or the brake pedal is not pressed with sufficient pressure. Other factors which can inhibit auto stop include accelerator pedal input, an engine temp that's too high, the five mile per hour or eight kilometer per hour activation threshold not achieved from a previous auto stop, a very sharp steering angle maneuver, or if the adaptive cruise control is on and speed is set, it may be possible for the vehicle to be driven several times without the stop-start system going into a stop-start ready state under more extreme conditions of the items mentioned earlier. The stop-start page in your instrument cluster will let you know why the system is not ready to activate. If there is a problem that requires dealer service, when the vehicle is stopped, you'll see a yellow icon. This video is not intended to take the place of your owner's manual. For complete details and other important safety information, Please see your owner's information.